I'm Ron Gibson and I'm 50 years old. I live in Ararat. Ararat's a small regional city, approximately 10,000 people, population. The local surgeon referred it to a, another surgeon in Ballarat who said it was too big for him. He was then referred to a specialist in Melbourne. He had a look at the original scans and again told me it wasn't looking good for me. We drove home in utter silence because he'd been given six months to live. The next day we received a phone call from the specialist and said he'd had a meeting with his team and they were going to operate. Ron's recovered slowly. He's just had a, virtually a two month spell in hospital in Melbourne, which has been a big drain on our family life. Once you move out of your home and you're living in shared accommodation or hospital accommodation in Melbourne, uh, the services aren't there, the family support's not there, uh, the isolation creeps in, the anxiety creeps in. We tried to keep our family life as normal as possible regarding my 16-year-old son, Thomas. They're going through some really trying times, but not just being sick, but being away from home and away from the home family unit at the same time. It was a big financial drain, driving to Melbourne all the time. My wife spent the full time residing with some friends in Melbourne and other accommodations you could source near the hospital. It's been hard. When Ron came down with septicemia from his last operation, I had to drive him to Melbourne, which is a three hour trip, because there was no ambulance available. Ron was very, very ill by the time we got him to Melbourne. His life was compromised. All he wants to do is concentrate on getting well enough to come back to work and, and con continuing on. He's strong, he's a fighter, and he has fought through and come bounced back each time. So it gives us hope.